What up, y'all? We doing a fire and trash for the August 23rd sneaker news cycle. Let's get it. First up, we have the Nike Air Force One Low Toasty. Now, if you remember on part three, if you go look at the video part three, um, we saw the dunk high version of these. Unfortunately, the forces don't have the same finesse as the dunk, so I'm going to have to put these in the trash. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 6 Bordeaux. Uh, we took a look at these last week in part three um, in GS sizing. This is the adult sizing, still fire, still worth a cop. Next. Lastly, we have the Nike Dunk Low, vel pink velvet. I'm gonna be real. I don't think I would ever wear these, but I think I would still cop. I'm putting these in the fire because I, I definitely think they're fire. What up, y'all? We doing fire and trash for the August 24th sneaker news cycle. Let's get it. First up, we have the women's exclusive, the Air Jordan 1 Acclimate in triple black. I think these are fire for women. Not for you grown ass men. They got the fur on the sock liner. I bet not see no dudes wearing these. Fur baby. Fire for women, trash for men. Next we have another Nike Air Force One low toasty colorway. These is meh, they cool. I still love the materials that are used. You're not creasing this toe box. I love the blue Nike swooshes. But for some reason, I still think they're trash. Probably because I wouldn't cop. Next up, we have the Nike Air Max 97 Sisterhood. These is cool. I like these. It says sister on the hang tag. I think these are fire. Next up, we have the Hira Nike Air Hirachi Peace Love Swoosh. Listen, man, I'm a sucker for the mismatch look. The neoprene is like mismatched one has magenta the other has teal that's fire to me this is fire next we have the jordan westbrook one take three now these is from westbrook's takedown signature line this is the budget sneaker like when i look at this picture they kind of fire to me then when i look at this picture they kind of trash but I'm gonna go with fire for now until I can see him in person. So, fire. We're getting another NBA Nike Dunk Low colorway. This one is black, silver, and white. We got the smooth leather base with the tumbled leather overlays and the silver swoosh. Fire. We'll have to discuss this. These fire. Next, we have the Air Force One Low in black and gold. These would be cool if you a Saints fan, but I'm not, so these are trash. What up, y'all? The Stretch doing fire and trash for September 25th sneaker news cycle. Let's do it. First off, we have the Jordan Westbrook 1 take 3. Got a bunch of neon colors. Truthfully, these motherfuckers remind me of the Ultimate Warrior. For that reason, and that reason alone, these is fire. Because I could find a shirt for the Ultimate Warrior. Clean. Nobody's doing that. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Acclimate Women's Exclusive. Like I said yesterday, man, I don't want to see you grown-ass men in these. These is fire for the ladies. That toe box? Magnifico. Dude wearing these, he want to be in that T-Pain Flowrider song. Apple bottom jeans, the ones with the furs. Don't do it. Next up, we have the Nike Dunk High Rebel in black and white. These are big trash biscuits. Look at how they are shaped. Look at this. This is trash. Throw them in the trash. Next up, we have the undercover Sakai Nike LED waffle in midnight spruce. I know they're gonna have hype, but these are trash. I would never wear these. I don't want to spend a lot of time on these because next we have the Sakai Undercover LED Waffle in Midnight Maroon. Now these are better, way better than the last ones. 
I'd rock these. The problem is I wouldn't buy them. If they're not fire enough to buy, then they have to be trash, right? Put them in the trash. Next we have the Nike Air Force One Low Toasty. I hate Nike doing this to me because I love the fleece that they use, but I just not feeling them on the forces, so I gotta put them in the trash. Next up, we have the Nike Kyrie 7 Daughters. This particular colorway pays homage to Kyrie's daughter, Azuri. Has the A and the Z on the heels, probably with a flower that she drew. Dope. Put them in the fire. These are fire. Next, we have the PG5 Daughters. They got the pastel colors popping, but I don't think this is a cut, uh, silhouette that you use pastel colors with. These are trash. Next, we get our first Photoshop of Fire and Trash. We have the Air Jordan 4 Zen Master. These are supposed to pay homage to Phil Jackson, legendary coach of the Bulls and the Lakers. They're supposed to have a tie-dye upper. When I see Phil Jackson, I don't think of tie-dye, so I gotta put these in the trash. Lastly, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Sherpa Fleece. These are horrendous. These are big trash. Look at all that bullshit. What up, y'all? We doing Fire and Trash for the August 26th Sneaker News Cycle. Check the shirt out. Let's get it. First, we have the Nike Dunk High Rebel Mars Yard. Trash. These damn near Niner colors, and I gotta put them in the trash. Such a shame. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunder. My opinion on these still has not changed. They are not a day one cop, but they are still worth copping, so fire. Next up, we have the Sean Witherspoon Adidas Super Earth Superstar in black. Man, I have a five-year-old niece that will look right in these. Outside of that, these trash. Big trash. It's like tassels hanging off. I, mean, I know it's stitching, but they remind me of tassels. Trash. Next up, we have the Adidas, Pharrell Williams, Sakona, and Burgundy. I guess I'm just grumpy today because I don't like nothing. These these trash, bro. They look better than the blue ones from last week, but still trash. Next, we have the Quarter Snacks Nike Dunk SB Zebra. These cool. These really submit, though. It's just a little hype beast in me. It's not a big hype beast, but it's a little hype beast in me that's like... Yeah, these fire. We got more undefeated forces on the way. The Dunk versus uh, Air Force One pack. When I first seen these like a couple months ago, I didn't like them at all. But <laughs> looking at them now, they heating up, boy. These bad boys fire. Blue snakeskin, stop playing. Fire. Also from the undefeated Air Force One versus Dunk pack. We got some all black dunks, all black suede upper, translucent outsole, fire. These are probably the best dunks in the pack. Simplicity is cool, y'all. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 14 Low Lipstick Women's Exclusive. These fire, man. Women and men. If you're a man and you can get into these, fire. I wish I could. Probably not, though. Next up, we get a full look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG Dark Blue Marina. We don't got to spend a lot of time on these, bro. These fire. With these, I'll be able to put my OG Royals on ice and just wear these. What's up with it, y'all? We're doing fire and trash for the August 27th Sneaker News Cycle. Let's get it. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Jordan Westbrook Take 1-3. Now, if you watch these videos, you know I've kind of been in the favor of these lately. But this colorway, trash. Next up, we have a new Nike Air Hirachi colorway. has like soft pink accent. I mean, these is cool, but they don't really do nothing for me, so trash. Next up, we have the Air Jordan High Element with Gore-Tex. Now, I'm not really sure what Gore-Tex is yet. And judging off these pictures, man, they're not very good. So I'm going to have to set these also in the trash. Better pictures can change my opinion, though. But these pictures, trash. Next, we have the Air Force One Low Sherpa Fleece. 
at first look, I thought these was fire, but they kind of OD'd with the with all the all the fur. Fur baby. Got the fur all in the sock liner and on the heel. Ah, fresh. So we have the Arizona One Mid, Familiar. They are inspired by the Day of the Dead. Fresh. I don't have a mid bias like a lot of people, but these are just trash. Next, we have a new Nike KD14 colorway. Trash. I don't like nothing from the 27. Boy, I tell you what. So we have the social status, Nike Dunk Mid. These is trash, bro. I think there's nothing appealing about this nigga. We have the Air Jordan 5 Shatter Backboard or Starfish. They're so close to San Francisco Giants colors. I'm a 49er fan, but I'm not a I'm not a Giants fan. But my son's cancer ribbon is orange, so I'ma rock with him and I'ma say these is fire. Lastly, we have the Adidas Yeezy 500 brown clay. These are absolute garbage. I would never wear these. Maybe if somebody bought them for me and I was gonna go mow the lawn, yeah, I will. But outside of that, trash. What up everybody, we doing fire and trash for the weekend of August 28th and the 29th. Let's get it. First up, we have the GS exclusive, Nike Air Force One Low, have a Nike day. I think these is fire, especially for kids. Swiss Force for kids, fire. Next up, we have the Travis Scott Nike Air Max One Wheat. I know the hype is gonna say that these are fire, but I say these are trash. Hype don't equal to a fire sneaker. That's what hype beasts do. These are trash, and I'm staying the fuck away from them. Lastly, we have the Adidas Easy Quantum Onyx. Now, I don't think these are fire, but I think they would be fire if they were the basketball version. The lifestyle version just don't do it for me. They look different. I don't like them. Trash. Overall, this week of sneakers was trash. Uh, it was trash. Not Nothing good for me. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe. Share all the whole, all the whole nine. I'm stretch, please.